So in this video, we are going to be talking about how to create and host your courses independently online. Especially during this period, we have many persons are going online looking for information. So it's a perfect time for you to host that your course and deliver the idea that you have to students who are searching and really in need of it. So most persons are going online this period. So that's why I decided to share this. So these are some of the things we shall cover in this course. Firstly, we are going to look at finding your perfect course idea. Then we'll look at tools and softwares to create an online course. Then we're going to look at hosting your courses independently to maximize profit. And then number four, promoting your course online. So let's quickly dive into it. So when finding your perfect course idea, the first thing you need to consider is the course outcome. You want to look at what is going to be the outcome for your student. What do you want your student to get out of your course? In other words, moving them from point A to point B, okay? So the outcome has to be something that taking them from zero to maybe hero. That is actually the transformation. So when you think about the cost outcome, you look at it from a perspective whereby you are impacting value. You are leading them from one particular point from the unknown to the known. So that will guide you once you find out a particular outcome that your course is directed towards it will help you to now build your course around it now the second thing you need to consider is solution driven and value oriented your course has to be something that solves a particular problem or a particular pain and it has to be value oriented in the sense that you must deliver lots of value to your students people are ready to exchange their money for value and if you can be able to solve a problem people will be ready to pay for it. The next thing you're going to do is look at your course outline. You must sit down, outline your courses, tailor it towards the outcome. Course outline is one of the most important aspects or the most important step you will take when creating your course. You must sit down, take time, outline it step by step into sections and modules. Okay, just like when you're writing a book, the whole book is one. That's your course. Then inside of the book, you have the chapters so that's the same way you look at it when you're creating your course okay so with this you can be able to now find your perfect course idea all right so let's look at some of the tools that you may need when you want to create your course online okay so one of the most important tools that you will need is a microphone you need a good microphone because that is what would make people to hear what you are saying for example the video i'm making now I'm using a condenser mic newer nw800 so you can come on amazon.com and search for these tools that i'm going to be showing you for your mic you can go with nw800 so this is what it looks like the other microphone you can go for but this one is just the basic one for your recording you need a condenser mic to filter out the noise on the background so to make the microphone work you need this phantom power supply 48V Phantom Power Supply. So you, you connect it with the wireless mic that I just showed you. Make sure you buy everything complete. Okay? And then you can connect to your laptop. That's for your microphone. Then another tool that you add to it is this USB sound adapter. Okay? You connect it to your laptop. So this is where you now plug your microphone. So with this now, everything is set up for your sound. Okay? All right, so still on the tools that you will need for creating your course or creating your video, you will need a screen recording software. So the one I usually use and recommend is Camtasia. If you want to get that, you go to techsmith.com. You can download the software. It's not free anyway. I think it's about $250 for the latest version. But it's a very professional software that you can use to do all your editing tutorials and everything. Okay, you can learn how to use the software on YouTube, just search for it and then you learn how to use it. Or, if you don't want to go for that, you can use the OBS Open Broadcaster software. You can download for Windows, for Mac, for Linux and then also learn how to use it. But just that Camtasia is more robust and uh, more easy to use and understand. Or you can also go for screencasts. Okay, so those are the tools that you need for creating your course so after you have created your course you have created your videos and 
done everything the next thing you are going to do is to host your courses okay so i'm going to show you how to host your courses independently you know actually you can host your course on platforms like udemy or teachable or other public platforms but the only thing there is that you might not make much profit because you, you are limited to some extent of pricing your course and secondly there are a lot of competitions there so your course may not see the light of the day and you don't have full control over your course but when you host a course independently you have full control you can price it you can change the price can do whatever you want to do with your course but advantage of using um, such platforms is that they already have the students and they have the traffic and all that but when you host a course independently you have to drive traffic you have to promote your course okay but sometimes even when you have your course on those sites your course might just be sitting there and if you don't promote it nobody would see it and you may not get to the first page so i'm just going to show you how you can now host your course independently with a, with a software that can enable you to do that so we have this software called builderall okay with builderall is an all-in-one tool that helps you to manage all your digital marketing needs ranging from building websites email automation and so many things okay you can just check it out there's a link in the description of this video where you can sign up for a one dollar trial for 30 days okay so let me show you how this actually works so let me just log in here so when i'm here on the platform here what i'm going to do is to install tools these are some tools i've already installed so i'll quickly install the new e-learning platform that's where we're going to be hosting our courses because we want to host our course independently so i'll quickly enter then you can see create your course so this is the e-learning platform so here i can start creating a new course these are some courses i have already i can edit them and make some changes but let's just start with a new course here so i'll give it a course name let's say youtube masterclass okay and the name is raymond category i just choose a category let's say tech and coding okay next I'm going to choose an icon for my course so I can just choose let's say let's say I choose this okay next then create new course so this is the course YouTube masterclass Then I'm going to set the workload all this just skip them then I come to this instructor here I can put my picture state my expertise let's say experts I can upload my picture so I just use that one there and then registration and protection. So here you're going to, since you're going to sell this course, you're going to set it to registration required to view content. Okay. Now close registration. If you want people to pay for your course before they can access it, then you have URL to navigate when they log out, you can set it to your thank you page and your registration page and all that. All these things can be set up inside of view the role. Okay then you have one beautiful thing about hosting your course with builderall is that you can set protection settings in other words you can set a domain whereby only from that domain can people be able to access your course so they cannot go outside of that domain once they go outside of that domain they cannot have access in other words people cannot steal your course except they buy it okay they cannot have undue access to your course your course is well protected all right so that is where you set it you just put the domain here and then your models and lessons you can begin to add models you can say instruct in introduction to youtube masterclass okay i can create this model then after creating this model i'll now come here edit it then i'll come here and start adding lessons okay add lesson so this will be lesson one will be setting up a youtube channel okay so i'll write the test before the content and test after the content then this is where i will now add my content so builder has the opportunity for you to upload your videos directly from your laptop or from your computer or you can paste a youtube link or video that you hosted on vimeo so here i select either a youtube video a vimeo video or from my computer but i usually go with from the computer so that it will be protected okay it cannot be downloaded so this is more safer 
So I just select from my computer and then I click on this. Let me just download one video. I go with this. So you can see I finished downloading that. So after I've done that, I just create lesson and then I can come back as to start editing the lesson. So this is the content. This is drip. Drip means the number of period you want them to complete. Maybe the delay after they watch the first lesson, it takes another like five hours for them to have access to the next lesson. Or you can just leave everything at zero. Links, you can add the link to external sources or resources. Then files, you can place Word documents, PDF and all that. Test, you can give test to your students and all those things, just put them here. Then you save changes. So that's how you add models and add lessons to your course. Then look at frequently asked question. You can add a question here if you want. Tests, you can put test questions for your students. And then you can also put certificates. Okay, you choose certificate for your student and all of these things. So after I'm done, let's just look at preview of this course. So you can see what I've just done now. Okay, very simple. This is my video. People can now watch this. So that's how it will populate in your course area. Okay, you can see how quickly it is for us to set up this. Now, I recently launched a course video course creation blueprint that is going to walk you through on how to do everything from beginning to the end how to use the builderall tool to set up both the membership sites where they will log in your sales page your login page your registration page how to set up the product page the super checkout receiving payments and everything that you need to put in place to get your course up and running i Put them all in this blueprint so if you want to go in depth to learn more about how to host your course independently and start promoting it I also shared the promotion aspect of it how to run Facebook ads YouTube ads to target audience and all that so everything is included inside of that blueprint so click the link in the description of this video and make sure you gain access to that course Currently, the next seven days is going to be available at a particular price and after seven days, I'm going to increase that price, okay? So make sure you take the opportunity now and sign up for this course because it's going to be available for a limited time. I'm going to close it once I get the number of students I need. Now let's go ahead with what we have. So the next thing is promoting your course online. So to promote your course online, you're going to use Facebook ads, you can use YouTube ads, you can use youtube platform create videos around it and promote it you can also use word of mouth and things like that the most viable way to promote your course is through facebook ads and youtube ads so you target the audience that would need your course that are looking for the information that you are providing okay so all those things are actually contained in the blueprint so make sure you click the link in the description of this video to have access to that blueprint okay here i'm showing you everything that you need to set up to start creating your course online okay so guys those are the basic steps that you need to take to start creating your course and host them independently i hope you got some value from this so i hope to see you guys inside of the course here i will show you in more details on how to go on how to create and host your course independently online and i'll see you guys on my subsequent videos